It's that time. Join us at Voice of America Metro Park as the Metro Parks of Butler County and our partners present the Crazy Cardboard Regatta. Follow along in this video on how to build a cardboard boat. Please remember that this is a miniature model size and that boats for the day of the event should be built large enough to fit at least one person inside or your whole team. Will you sink or swim? Let's get started to find out. Here are the materials I'm using today. We have cardboard, duct tape, scissors, a measuring ruler, a marker, paint, and paint brushes. My first step was to figure out what shape I wanted and to trace it all out. Then I cut out all the pieces that I just drew. I realized I wanted them a little bit smaller, so here is the final cutting out of my cardboard. My next step was to lay out my cardboard and figure out how I wanted to tape it together. Here I used duct tape to secure each edge of the boat to the base. Now that the inside is finished, don't forget to tape the outside as well. Duct tape can only be used to connect joints and seams and it cannot be used to wrap around the entire boat as per regatta rules. I decided to go with a monarch butterfly theme, so I cut out wings and taped them onto my boat. Whatever shape and design you choose is completely up to you. I say have fun with it. So next came the time for painting. I used the color black to represent the body of the monarch butterfly. I next painted a second layer. Now I did use a reference photo to make sure I got my monarch as accurate as possible while still being artistic. Once my paint was nice and dry, then I could move on to the next part. Then came the time for the fun and bright orange color of the monarch wings. While constructing your own life-size cardboard boat, you'll wanna make sure to follow the boat building rules that can be found by going to our website, which will be displayed at the end of this video. Materials like nails, metal, wood, and staples are not allowed in the final construction of your boat. We wanna keep in mind the safety of all the boaters on race day. Once I added my second coat of orange paint, then I was ready to add some more of the details of the Monarch Butterfly. For the first of those details, I used a white paint to add the spotting coloration on the Monarch's body. Next, I used black paint and started painting on the wings to get some of those wing details of the butterfly. And here is my nearly finished version of the monarch butterfly, but there are a few more details I still wanted to add. I used white and orange puffy paint to represent the coloration on the monarch wings. Another thing to keep in mind while building your boat, as per the boat building rules, is that flotation devices such as styrofoam and inflatables are not allowed in the construction of your boat. This would give an unfair advantage over other teams. And as stated before, always be sure that you follow all of the boat building rules. Here we are with the final and completed miniature cardboard boat. I call it float like a butterfly. This small boat is hidden somewhere in the park at Indian Creek Metro Park at the Springfield Road area. Do you think you'll be able to find it? If you do, take a picture of yourself with Float Like a Butterfly and follow the instructions on the bottom of the boat. You'll be entered into a drawing for a chance to receive a free boat registration for the Crazy Cardboard Boat Regatta. So, when is this Crazy Cardboard Regatta that you've been hearing so much about? We hope to see you on Saturday, September 11th, 2021 from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Voice of America Metro Park. Register your boat at www.yourmetroparks.net. You can even make a day of it by adding Miami University's SVRA 911 5K Walk Run. We encourage you to get as creative as you want with your boat, and we can't wait to see what each team builds. And remember to keep calm and boat on.